What's up, Seven Figure Freaks? It's the Daily Dose of Seven Figure Fire. Today we are talking about simple, keeping shit simple. And you know at war, at warfare, the side that's going to win, the team that's going to win, the victorious and warfare, we're talking about literally warfare or in any area, in business, in whatever, in a battle. Whoever has the discipline, that discipline, of course, everything starts with discipline. Whoever has the discipline to implement the basics and the fundamentals consistently over time under pressure is going to be the is going to be the winner it's going to win the battle i'm going to say it again whoever has the discipline to implement the basics and the fundamentals consistently over time and under pressure is going to win in simple terms you could just say keep shit simple that's how yes it's going to requ- it requires tons of boring Practice and, and on the basics, the fundamentals, training and role playing and mastery. But shit, if it's going to lead to victory, it's probably something you should be doing. You should be working on keeping it simple. Because the opposite, simple is here. The opposite of simple, I'm not going to say hard or confusing. I'm going to even use the word complexity because that's what it makes. Complexity is just a, a different level of, of even confusing. Complexity is hard to implement, especially under pressure and during war and under adversity. Complexity is difficult to teach, it's difficult to multiply, it's difficult to grow and scale a complex system. Now, I understand there are things in your gym that are going to be more complex and different and harder to learn, different specifics that you have to do. We understand that. We're talking about, in general, the foundation of your business, right? Here's your the foundation, the holding your business solid. Keep it simple. Of course, as you go up, there's going to be more complex things you have to work on. We're talking about keeping shit simple in the foundation because... Complex, complexity is going to multiply during adversity. So you're at wartime, or sorry, you're, you're, you're in peacetime, and you have a complex system. Guess what? People are going to be confused as fuck. Now imagine as stress levels start to rise, adversity starts to rise, you go to war, you're at war. That complexity is going to be a negative force multiplier, negative force multiplier, creating so much more problems, so much more difficulty and confusion than it would normally during Peacetime. It's going to be a negative force multiplier. It's going to explode and multiply itself and lead to your freaking doom, basically. It, it multiplies negatively during adversity. And because think, complexity multiplies during adversity and or when things go wrong or things don't go the way you're planned, you get punched in the face, it's going to multiply. Things don't go according to the plan. You need to keep shit simple. Stick to the fundamentals, to the basics of everything. That goes for everything. Even, even a fighter, even when it comes to a, a fighting, a UFC fight, a boxing match, whoever's got the fundamentals down, perfect, and mastered is going to win. It's just the fundamentals. Your chin down, your hands up, your elbows in, eyes forward on your opponent, breathe the way you're breathing, the technique you're throwing your punches, the basics you learned in your first lesson are what's going to win the championships. It's what's going to lead to fucking victory and crushing your competition. So now let's break it down even more. Every Everyone's role when we're talking about simple, everyone's role needs to be based off of these fundamentals and clear communication, what's expected from each person in there in simple terms, in just bullet points. Like you need to do this, this, and this. You need to do this, this, and this, and this role. Clear communication, what's expected and what of what of what each role has to do on a daily basis, weekly basis, long term. How do they fit in? How do they tie into the picture, the big picture, to the vision of a freaking team? And listen, Someone messes up. Someone fucks up. They just don't follow your instructions. They do it all wrong. They screw it up. Think about this first. Always look at this side first. Perhaps, just perhaps, they are not stupid and freaking lazy like you keep thinking they are. Perhaps, maybe, you were not clear enough or your instructions or your teaching of it, coaching of them, mentoring of them, maybe was not simple enough for them. Just perhaps think about that. Always let that be your first thought. We know there's lazy, stupid motherfuckers out there, but in general, let's always go back to ourselves. Look at ourselves first. See, did we keep shit simple enough for them? Even every task that they do, every task everyone in your gym does, from the daily task to the weekly to the big term, every project, everything they're working on, every session, they need to know the purpose of that task. What is the purpose of that task? Why are they doing this? In simple terms. This is why you're doing this. This is how this helps our mission in simple freaking terms. This is, they not only need to understand what to do, they need to understand why they're doing it, how to do it, and 
how they're helping the freaking mission. Focusing on just one thing at a time, obviously. We know that. Because you can't get caught up in that, that idea fairy that we know of where you're trying to keep shit simple. You're working on it and you're coasting. You're just getting complacent on that. And now you're thinking, oh, I'm going to also do this, 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 this. Next thing you're working on 10 things at once. But yet you haven't even nailed down that foundation. That simple freaking foundation that you should have done. And now you're all over the place. You're scattered. And guess what? Adversity strikes. You're going to get fucking crushed is what's going to happen. Get the basics down. Get the simple shit down. When in doubt, when you are attacked, when you are facing adversity, when something doesn't go your way, when you get punched in the face, always, always revert back to the freaking fundamentals, keeping shit simple. That is always going to be the one thing that's going to move you forward towards your goal is keeping it simple. Always revert back to those fundamentals, no matter what. You have questions for your team. Quick, clear, simple questions. Straightforward. And when your team asks you something, quick, clear, simple, concise, straightforward, simple answers. Quick questions, quick answers. Bam, bam. Don't ever assume that someone knows what you're thinking or what you mean by some like halfway backwards twisted thing you're talking about. Think of it like this. Let's think of an example. You... You texted someone on your team last Tuesday about some situation, right? They message you today and they ask you about this exact situation. Your answer is, oh, I already told you about that. They're like, really? When? You're like, last Tuesday, I texted you. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, go back and check your text messages. Instead of they ask you a question, give the fucking answer. All that back and forth is like wasted ammunition, just shooting it all over the place, wasting time, wasting effort, ammunition. Someone doesn't know. Probably you didn't communicate it clear enough. You sent a message that would just mixed in probably a million other messages. Who knows what? Think of always how you didn't communicate clearly enough. Guess what? They ask a freaking simple question. Give a simple answer. Don't waste a 15 freaking text messages back and forth to get to a simple answer. That's going to save so much time and energy and effort. And then the day is over and you're thinking that you were so busy all day, but you were busy wasting time, making things more complex than you need to. Keep shit simple. Don't make things harder than they need to be. Things like that. Are you in the right of they should know what you talked about last Tuesday on that text message? Possibly. Maybe you did. Maybe it is. Maybe they should know it. You should, of course, hold them accountable. Of course, we still need to hold them accountable. But at that time... It's, it might even be something time sensitive. There might be something they need to get done right now. Maybe someone's standing in front of them right now. It's happened to me many of times where my team leaders told me about something a week ago. Today I need to go and do it. I don't have time to go looking back at my messages. Maybe it wasn't on my account. Who knows what? Whatever the case is. And I, you want the answer? Bam, bam, done. Don't, that's like taking your rifle and just shooting all over the place, all over the place. It should be here. Nice deep breath. Bam. One shot, one kill. Keep it simple. You know, in the, in the, we're talking about bullets, one shot, one kill. When I was in the Marine Corps, we only had single shot, bam, bam, or three shot burst, where you pull the trigger and it shoots three bullets. All that automatic, where you just hold the thing, it goes, brrr, all that, on the basic rifle in the Marine Corps, they, after Vietnam, they stopped using those rifles because everyone was making shit more complex than it needed to. They heard a cricket and they would waste. There was something like 30,000 shots fired for every, every kill in Vietnam. Something crazy like that. So they actually modified the entire rifles. That was the A1 rifle. We had the A2 version of the of the M16 rifle when my when my time came up. Just because of the other generations didn't keep shit simple. They overcomplicated stuff, which probably led to disaster. And I don't even want to talk about whatever. What else? Death and who else? Destruction. Keep it simple. It's going to help you move the needle forward. Become the master of the fundamentals. The master of the fundamentals. Another example, Marine Corps example. Keep shit simple. In, in Marine Corps boot camp, we had a boxing match in boot camp in a four foot by four foot ring. Think about that. Four feet. Four feet by four feet ring. Nowadays, they don't do it anymore. I don't know. Maybe they, they, they pussified the, the Marine Corps. They don't even do this anymore. Maybe there were too many injuries or they got a little scared or I don't even know. Who knows what? But we used to box in a four foot by four foot ring. So it's you standing there right in someone else's face. You have nowhere to go. And... At the time, I was a skinny 19-year-old freaking punk. Not, I'm not saying I was a great boxer. Not at all. I'm sure many people in there would have whooped my ass. There were some monsters in there. You were mixed matched by a different height and weight. It didn't matter because you don't get to choose your enemy. Guess what? They would think, think guys are going there thinking they're going to do these big bombs and these haymakers. 
I won every single match that I did in there in the four foot by four foot training sessions. Not because I was better, but because I kept shit simple. Literally, just what they taught you was your chin down, your hands are up, at your eyes, you're protecting your face, your elbows are in tight, protecting your ribs. All I did is just straight punches, bam, 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 right down the middle. So while everyone's coming in trying to kill you because they're nervous and trying to make it more complex with these fancy little combinations, I'm just in, the, in tight, bam, 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 right in every one of them. Bloody noses, fun stuff. Oh, this is bringing back memories. I got to go to the gym now. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to punch some shit. Anyway, keep shit simple. I will talk to you later. This is Seven Figure Fire. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.